This is Scott the Fix-It Guy. Our goal with our videos is to empower you to be able to do the repairs on your own and save a whole lot of money and also get that great feeling of having fixed it by yourself. Today we have a Frigidaire dryer, gas dryer, that we're going to be replacing the timer. So I just pulled the timer knob straight off and I'm going to use a standard head screwdriver or a uh, paint scraper to help get the uh, lid up by pressing it on the clips. I'm going to remove two Phillips head screws that are holding the timer in. Once I get those screws off, I'm going to re remove the front panel by re removing a couple of uh, small Phillips head screws that are here behind the front panel about seven inches down from the top here on the left hand side and also one on the right hand side they're holding the front panel on so I get those out then I'll just grab the top of the front panel and pull it toward me and it'll make a couple of clips let go the screws are out but you have to pull pretty hard there we go and then I'm going to uh, disconnect this one modular connector here that's bringing power to the timer. Just squeeze in and release and then I can lift the front panel up off of its bottom clips and that's going to give me a little bit easier access to get to the timer. I just want to take the wires, the old wires off of the old timer and put them on the new timer. Before I do that I'll use a brush to Go ahead and clean all the lint off. These dryers can get really a lot of lint on them. Before you ever remove a timer and replace it, um, very often it's something else that's going to be causing a trouble in your dryer. Timers are really tough. They last a long time. One reason you might have to remove the timer though is if the little um, motor on the back of it, which just helps to move the timer kind of like a clock, is burned out and that might be a good reason to put it in a new timer. Before you do though, uh, check to make sure that it's not some other um, less expensive part that's causing your dryer not to work. And this one was just the timer wasn't advancing because the little motor in the back was, was burned out. So I'm going to get all that lint off and then I'm going to take some pictures of the connections. Here's the part number for the new timer. These, this is for the old Frigidaire style gas uh, gallery dryers. Really good dryers. They last a long time. So I take some pictures of all the wire connections. also like to uh, exchange the wires from the old to the new one at a time rather than taking them all off just to be safe. Usually these uh, wires are on pretty tight on the spade connectors so it's good to use a pair of pliers to help you to loosen them off. So just sped up the camera here a little bit but I'm just taking them off one at a time and making sure I put them on securely onto the terminals. With your front panel off, it also might be a good time to reach in and try to remove some of the lint that has built up inside the cabinet. So there we go, we got them all 
switched over to the new one and I'm just going to hook up this little modular connector for the moisture sensor. Get that done. And I'm going to get the this is the, this is the dryness mm -hmm. control board. I'm going to take this modular connector off and then put it back on. That's just good to do to make sure that the connections are all tight. Got that, and then I'm going to take the two Phillips head screws and put them back in on the front panel to hold the timer in position. And then I'll take the timer knob and I'll put that back on it too. A lot of times when dryers don't work, people go right to replacing the timer, but it's very uh, rare that it's the culprit. Right, so got the new timer in position. We're going to put the um, front panel back on by putting it on the little clips on the bottom first. And we're going to push the front panel forward. Make sure you get the wire out of the way. through connect that back again and I'm going to lift up on the tumbler so it fits over on top of the front bearing on the front panel push it all the way in and I'll add those two Phillips head screws back to hold the panel on I'm going to put a zip tie right here to hold this wire up and out of the way of the tumbler. And this actually, when it comes from the factory, it has a zip tie right here too. Get that nice and tight. And after we get those screws back in, that is about it for um, removing and replacing the timer. So hope this helps you out for your Frigidaire Gallery dryer and replacing the timer. And thanks so much for watching and please subscribe when you get a chance.